Oh, I'm ready. I'm in. I'm on. <laughs> well, check it out. Cote's Cube, we are here in the Eric Stricker Memorial Skate Park here at Transworld. And uh, look at who I have here. It's fitting that um, we're in a skate park together because you surf like a skateboarder. And yeah, right, Matt? A little bit, yes. I think. <laughs> Matt, Matt Ski. M meal Ski. Meal, meal Man. What do your friends call you? Meat Holder. Meat Holder. Matt, Meat Holder, Miola. <laughs> um, so uh, welcome to Cote's Cube. Um, you are in California right now for some reason. Every time I see you, you're in Indo or uh, like Maui or somewhere. Why are you in California right now? For the Cote's Cube. Perfect. Best answer ever. Uh, well, let's just get right into this. So, uh, like I said, big summer, huge summer. Um, started with uh, some trips to Indo, the custom airstrike. Uh, yeah. I know you've been asked about this a lot. John John just released a video of him winning, got $50,000 from Tony Hawk. Um, did he deserve it? Should he have won? Yeah. I think he won. It was really close between him and Chippa, but I don't know. I think I think John's was a little bigger. A little bigger, huh? So on a trip like that, you know, everyone everyone on the trip was saying how hard everybody was trying. Um, airs to me are you know pretty much like more dangerous <laughs> than any other trick in surfing, besides floaters uh, that always screw me up. But uh, tell me about that trip. Like you guys were throwing stuff that was pretty deadly to the knees and ankles. Yeah. Um, there are so many times where I was coming down just like waiting for my knees to blow out, but um, I ended up not hurting my knees. I blasted my head open, which kind of sucked, but um, yeah, it was like every time someone caught a wave, everyone just would look back and just be waiting like, is it going to be the 50 grand? And, but no, it was crazy. People were hitting sections that you usually wouldn't hit. Yeah, the, uh, the game of chance out there in the air surfing. Uh, you're also in Indo, again, with Chippa and the boys, where we did get a section of you and your friends shredding in the Transworld Surf movie. Have you seen it yet? Yes. Did you like it? Yes. Yet why? Because I was in it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was sick. Chippa's part was insane, I thought. Do you still, you know, like, my, when I was a grommet, and I, you're still a grommet, you know, to me, I'm, all, I'm always going to be a grommet. Forever grommet. Do you yeah. still, like, wake up, put in a surf movie, and uh, get psyched to go surf? Um, not as much as I used to, but, yeah, I like to do that. Yeah. I don't have that many surf movies anymore. It's all online. Right. So, just kind of log on. Log on. What was, what was the last, like, little web clip or something that got you extremely excited to go rip? I saw this clip of Dean Morrison and West Oz just got getting pumped. Sickest barrels ever. I was just watching that tripping out. <laughs> it made you want to go home immediately and get tubed. Made me want to go to West Oz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Sanook had a great entrant in the 2012 Transworld Surf Imaginarium, the Working Man's Wave. This looked like quite possibly the most fun anyone could ever have on the beach. Tell me about the filming <laughs> of that thing. We um, we went up to Halama and we stayed in a RV for like five days to shoot the thing, and. It was like the funnest trip ever. <laughs> we got the worst waves ever, but it was still like the best surf trip. Um, those guys at Sinook are so creative. They would wake up and they just had the offices set up on the beach and it was just like a five day party. It was sick. Five day party with chicks. So uh, if you haven't seen the uh, Sinook Imaginarium, you must. Uh, looking forward, winter. All summer you've been concentrating on, you know, airs, 540s, flips and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but it's starting to get serious. Yeah, I'm getting it's nervous. It's getting serious. Hold on, let's, let's, let's <laughs> just take a second. Let's just get serious. Jaws. Jaws. Uh, let's talk about prep. Now, you know, every winter we think, oh, it can't get any bigger, it can't get any better. Last year you guys had some crazy paddling sessions at Jaws. Um, it's possible. It's going to get bigger. It's going to get better. Yeah. Tell me about your boards, your preparation. What is Matt Miola doing to get ready to rumble? Um, if you watch our, uh, I think, two episodes ago on our little web series, me and Albie, see our training video? I haven't seen it yet. You gotta check it out. Dang. No, <laughs> we did a big spoof on training, but no, I, I gotta start getting into shape. I had like one of my first surfs in a while, um, not too long ago, and I was just huffing and puffing. <laughs> I was like, oh no, winner's like, here already and I'm not in shape. So as soon as I get home, I'm getting on the program. On I, the saw program. Some, I, I saw you, you have some big boards waiting for you when you get home. What, when you see a board 
it's a ten foot surfboard. What do you ride normally? A five eight or something? When yeah, you see five, a ten seven. footer, how do you feel? Um Ready. <laughs> no, I feel worried. <laughs> no, I I get um I get all freaked out. I'll take him out on like just small days at Hokipa just to like get used to paddling. It's just so awkward being on the thing and you have like your paddle vest on and your tippy and it's weird, but I don't feel comfortable just like going straight out into huge jaws on board. I like to try it, you know. Try a couple airs on your 10 footer first. I have before. Yes. Not successful, <laughs> but I did get in the air. <laughs> um, you know, I always ask people when they come on Cote's Cube, what's next for you? I'm not gonna ask you that. Um, have you ever had a job before? Um. <laughs> like a job job. I know you're a pro server, that's a job, that's like a job job. Um, well, just like doing a little bit of work for my dad, but when I was younger, my parents were snapping at me to get a job. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, I don't think they thought I was going to be a pro surfer. But um, my dad, I remember one day, he's like, you're going down to Mama's Fish House and you're getting a job, otherwise you're cut off. I went down there and uh, I ended up getting a job and they uh, hired me as a dishwasher and I was in the kitchen. And the first day I'm washing dishes and there's like all these, there's like this big moak working, there's all these wine guys, I'm just this little howly kid in the kitchen. And I remember <laughs> the moak calling me, howly boy, howly boy, do this, do that. Like, and I was just tripping out and I quit the first day. <laughs> so your first job <laughs> was a one day affair. Yeah. Oh, good, good nice, nice work. Um, but I like to work, I like to go like, get dirty I see, work I see you put, I mean, you put in work in surfing, that's hard work. Well, one of, you know, one of the questions if you were to get a job, which you're too good at surfing to actually get a job job, one thing that they ask is, where do you see yourself in five years? So that's gonna be my last question to you here on Cote's Cube. Matt Miola, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, uh, shit. Five years, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live on a mental piece of property in Haiku with my own house that I build by myself. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing trips and hunting. Trips, hunting, large house, five yeah. years. We're gonna check in and we'll probably see you before that, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. For so, sure. but when you do build the house, we're gonna come over a barbecue. Next Cote's Key will be in five years, unless we see you again, which hopefully will be soon. Matt yeah. Miola, we will see you. Um, last props for your website, which I go to pretty much every day. I, I missed one episode. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's. Let's see. Did you see the latest one was Canada, but um, the one before that was our Jaws training video. Jaws training. Give us the website. Um, you can see it on Miola Laird Productions or just go to YouTube and look up The Isle, Matt Miola and Albi Laird. I-S-L-E. Yes. For those of you who can't spell. Matt Miola, ladies and gentlemen, here on Cote's Q. Woo! <laughs> All right. Perfect.